are you seeing much activity in the landscape about LLMs applied to actual structured data? I think part of what Richard was saying is true. I think everybody who has, like I'm not aware of any data vendor out there, really, who has any form of data who isn't attempting to strap an LLM of some kind on the front end of it to try to make it accessible to a new audience, to protect their data better, to do something. But they're all stapling an LLM onto something. I think what's interesting is when you see, as Karshal's alluding to, like when you see people querying against things, there's folks who will ask things of unstructured data and they'll say like, hey, can you bring it back to me in a structured way? And it's like, I never would have thought of that in a million years. And they're, like, and they're structuring queries, they're like, oh, okay. Or you can be asking questions of structured data and saying, you know, give me unstructured responses, give me these kind of responses. What's interesting is like you get the responses and having the ability to have that conversation with an LLM, I think, really makes a huge difference because the first thing that comes back is never the right thing. Like it's never, but if it's directionally close to the right thing or at least in the direction of the right thing, then you see people sharpening up and refining that thing and that's where it gets very interesting. I don't see anyone really at this point trusting, trusting the AI model fully. I don't see anybody who's like, I've trained it, I've given it a series of conversations, now we're just gonna run it and I'm gonna go take a nap and fire, like, there's always an element if you want a human either interpreting what's coming out of that thing or checking it. So there's always going to be a component of that for a while until we get to a much higher level of confidence. But definitely in seeing how people are using that, it's just they're running so far out ahead and thinking of things. And as that develops, I think it's going to be a component of everything. Either it's going to be a component of how you query against it. It may be a component of the output. It may be a component of how you interact with it. If we think about platforms like you know, the Bloomberg Terminal that historically have been extremely inscrutable to a lot of people, be able to ask it questions in plain language and get out you know, the thing that the nerd wonk guy knows is on page like 72 and saying like, ah, I found it now. You don't need the nerd wonk guy. Well, what's he gonna do? He will need a new job. And figuring out how that works, like all of those use cases are really interesting and people are plugging these tools into everything. The question becomes again, you know, there's a cost of asking all these questions. You know, does the cost make sense for an interface? Does it make sense for an output? Is it generating enough to make it worthwhile in that use case? Those are going to be the questions we need to deal with going forward, but there's, there's something there for everybody.